Hey guys, welcome to today's session. My name is Sachin Segal and I'm here to talk about a very important tool, Google Ads. And out of all the ads we can create under Google Ads, today we would be talking about a very important one, Google Search Ad. So this is going to be very exciting. This is going to be very deep from my experience. I can say I will going to take you through a lot of technical aspects and a lot of uh, optimization strategies where you can really bring down the cost down if you're really paying high for your clicks and conversion. So please be with me and I would try to give you the best from my side. Great. So let's just start guys. Google Ads is something which we have discussed in the last class. If you have seen my last session, if you have not, we will leave the link in the description where we talked about the basics of Google Ads and we also talked about how to create this beautiful ad account or a tool with a free Gmail ID. Okay. We did talk about few more things that how many types of ads you can create. Just to give you the quick glimpse, we are on Google and when we type something like if I want to do a data analytics course, so I would type few things like a word or a keyword or a query into Google search engine and then Google as a search engine would show me few results. The results which we see on the top, we are talking about these today, you know, this is the topic or this is the kind of an ad which we would create today in this session. This is called text ad or this is also called Google search ad. Okay, so this is the first type of an ad you see or which you can create under the Google ads. There are few more just like if you would go and search for any of the e-commerce product probably by winter jacket online so then there would be results but in a different shape and color and different structure there is an ad which is a text ad but on the top we are able to see some more ads but they are not just text they have a pricing they have a title they have a brand name they have an image of the product so they are called shopping ads or product listing ads in addition to that, sometimes, you know, when you go to a product, uh, a website like speed test and you see the product ads there, but again in the different shape and color. So they are called display ads because they've been displayed on different websites and different apps. So why I'm going so fast in explaining you different type of ads, because as I told you, we have another video created. Uh, with the name of uh, Google Ads uh, for beginners 2023, you can just check the link in the description and you will be able to get all this type of ads and whatever the, uh, you know, bidding strategies to be used in basic in that particular tutorial or that demo. Just as to show you, if you can see that ads by Google. So this is the display ad or a banner ad. So just quickly, I have shown you three types of the ads, but our focus, as I said, today going to be on a very specific ad, which is the most important ad from the Google ads family. Okay. So let's just begin guys. When I come to Google ads, this is how the Google ads structure looks like. We have a Google ads account created. Again, I repeat, if you don't know how to create it, please find the link in the description to create the Google ads account. Once a Google ads account created, then you would have a dashboard like this. Okay. In this dashboard, you can see there are campaigns, there are ad groups, there are ads, there are videos, there are landing pages. So a lot of things can be confusing if you are just coming to this account or to this beautiful tool for the very first time. So to just keep it very simple or to explain in uh, in a very simpler way, what I did is I just drawn this structure for you. Okay. So the structure says that you have a Google ads account. Imagine that I am a simply learn Google ads manager. So I am running the ads for all simply learn keywords like data analytics course, digital marketing course, or any machine learning course, Python course. So whenever somebody types this, so there is a ad which shows like from simply learn probably we have to just assume because currently i'm not able to see any simply learn ad here so data analytics course india and then probably we can see if there are any 
you can always change the keywords but just to test i am uh, randomly changing the words or i could have just written simply learn specifically because i want to go with simply learn only i have researched a lot and i feel like this is one of the best okay so probably there is no ad though still i would check probably i have to just change the codes So I will go for the another course which is by Simply Learn again and then probably we can expect any of the ads running because this is not a very peak time so we are probably you know saving some of the cost not running the ads at this odd hour. Anyhow so we can assume that this is the ad you know I am running for so how we can create this ad how we can get the best of clicks as I said it is not a very best time to run the ad so this is also kind of a change you know we can bring into our ads by doing some research so how all these things are done we're going to be learning it okay. So when we come here to the dashboard and when we see our dashboard looks like this a bit complicated so we can be confused we can be disheartened that i have created the account by seeing uh, the first video but now i am all stuck okay so probably i have to again wait so the wait is over now we are here to understand the whole structure okay so let me just take a very simple example suppose i uh, i'm someone who's selling a shoes okay because i have just said simply learn probably let's just convert it to any of the google ads account of a shoe seller probably i am nike okay and i am making the ad for nike shoes and i am selling uh, two types of the nike shoes today probably formal or canvas or probably i am selling the casual or any sports shoes and what i did i created the campaign named it search ad uh, any month you know whatever the month you have started with suppose november so november 2022 that is the name which i am giving name can be changed name is something which has been put it up for my reference so that after creating a lot of campaigns i'm not confused in which campaign i have to check the results okay so i'm running the search ad for shoes for the month of february or november or december 22 23 whatever and then i open two ad groups into it why i'm opening two ad groups under one campaign because i'm selling two kind of products under the shoes only i'm selling formal also under the shoes only i'm selling casual also so what happens suppose i would have just you know created one ad group and would have inserted or uh, submitted all the keywords of formal and casual inside one ad group then if somebody would have searched a term called formal black shoes then this ad group would have got confused that should i show formal ad shoes or should i show casual ad shoes because what i did I have just got all my keywords like formal, casual, cricket, shopping, jogging, party, office, you know, all the mix of the keywords from formal and casual family into the same ad group. The moment any of these six keywords been typed or been searched on Google, then this ad group would have got triggered. And then again, randomly, it would have shown the ad of a formal or ad of a casual because both of the ads would have been under this okay but after doing uh, this bifurcation or after doing this segmentation what would happen all the formal keywords like party shoes office shoes formal shoes formal black shoes would go here this ad group would trigger if any of this keyword would searched and accordingly this ad which has everything related to only formal shoes will be shown and of course with that ad the landing page is connected which uh, yeah, would be opened you know when somebody clicks the ad okay and vice versa if somebody would have searched for a casual term like a casual shoes sports shoes jogging shoes running shoes then this ad group would have triggered and then the casual shoes ad with all the headline related to that casual keywords would have been shown and accordingly if somebody would have clicked then the landing page of casual shoes uh, you know would have opened okay so if this is clear actually you are very much ready to uh, dive into the google ads because many people takes a lot of time to understand the structure because uh, you know maybe they are uh, very much confused at the ad group level but i have just tried my level best by bringing this example why i am creating two different ad groups I, why i'm not just going with the same ad group you know mixing all the keywords second scenario could have been or a second permutation could have been i would have just you know 
probably created two different campaigns altogether. I would have named the campaign one with search ad formal shoes November. Okay, then only the only this part would have belonged to the first campaign. Then I would have created a different campaign altogether and I would have named it campaign search ad casual shoes November. Then this second campaign or a second campaign can be assumed here with a you know with a green color would have been drawn. Okay, so this is how on the structure it works like we can always now create inside. So let's just see a few things uh, before we create the add okay very important uh, requirement or rather i would say uh, if being the campaign manager of any 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 uh, company you name any startup you name or any client you work with or probably for yourself as well you have to be very much sure how these terms works like okay so this terms when i talk about is going to be bit inclined towards the search ad today only and when i talk about the display ad in the next video then i would you know take you through about the terminologies and all the kpis of display banner or a video ads okay so now if i talk about a search ad a very important um, term which we should be aware of is the maximum bid price okay because we all know when we talking about this ad which is called a text ad then we are paying on every click okay that's why this is also called ppc ad this is also called ppc marketing or you can understand in a very simpler words uh, advertiser which uh, is emeritus this in this particular ad only has to pay when somebody like such in this moment clicking this ad i click this ad i reach to the landing page of this uh, particular university or this college and a certain amount is deducted from this particular ad account and that certain amount actually decides or decided on the basis of the keyword helped to show this ad okay so as an advertiser must have paid something to google ads for showing this ad for this keyword okay so when i say a maximum bid price it means it's a maximum bid price of a keyword that's why now this would be easier to understand by this example suppose i want to run the ad on the term called data analytics course 2022 what i did i have opened the google keyword planner you know i did talk about this in the previous session but i will take you through again how you use a keyword planner smartly so i have got this data from the keywords planner that the average price i have to pay for this keyword to show my ad is five to ten rupees so what i did i just played a bit of maths and i have bidded something over the minimum bid price okay this is the minimum bid price this is the maximum bid price okay and this is what i've got from the keyword planner so rather than going for a very high price or the maximum bid price to secure my position i want to play safe and what i would do i would just take a chance maybe 30 40 percent over the minimum bid range and then i will see if the impressions or clicks are coming or not if this starts coming it means that my ad is accepted and my keyword is you know uh, winning in the auction and i am able to get the clicks but if it is not picking then certainly i have to increase my bid price but coming back to the terminologies what we're talking here is once i have set it up my maximum bid price of seven rupees then my ad would start showing suppose my ad shows for thousand times today and every time when my ad been clicked you know certain amount being deducted there is a competition there are other advertisers also you know who are running the ad and after showing my ad for the whole day google in the dashboard just shown that you have paid average cpc of five rupees only so i bid it for seven but by seeing different uh, you know factors like the competition the demand and how many times the ads got clicked what was the position where my ad was shown i ended up in paying five rupees for every click by the end of a day so the average cpc sometimes you know people get confused the average cpc and the maximum bid price is the same no so maximum bid price is something which i uh, you know submit to google that this is the maximum i can pay for my Add to show on certain keyword for every click and average cpc is something which actually you know i pay every day or you know in that average of the duration your ad got displayed or got clicks uh, for every 
click on that particular keyword okay or the number of keywords if you have more than one keyword uh, submitted and suppose I've got 100 clicks then you know it's a simple maths that my budget which I have spent today is five rupees for one click 500 rupees for 100 click so daily budget would be 500 rupees and tomorrow if company says I need 300 clicks then of course my uh, average CPC which I have from the historical data of yesterday you know I would just do my maths and I will going to submit the daily budget of not 100 rather 300 today so that in 1500 I can expect 300 clicks at the cost of 5 rupees per click okay so this is a very simple of the example to just make you explain how things works you know you submit something then on the basis of a lot of factors you know Google calculates and Google gives you clicks and once you have the data then you know you can just understand how this all is working okay last thing before we dive into the tool is keyword planner so I just told you we have done in the last class how this works like so we go into tool and setting and then we go into keyword planner I'll show you in the account also the Google Ads account just after 30 seconds uh, the screenshots over so your keyword planner opens and then you discover the keyword suppose I am selling data analytics course so I would just put my search term data analytics course and then I'll click the get result and then accordingly it will show me lot of options and this is the pricing I was talking about it gives me the low price and the high price so I would take the 30 40 percent over the low bid price or the average price between these both and that would be my maximum bid price and after checking all the permutations Google would show my ad or either it would not show my ad also there, there can be a chance so I have to just wait for my impression and clicks and the results by the end of a day and I would you know I would know uh, how much the average CPC actually I'm paying for each keyword okay so I'll show you all those reports uh, in a while uh, that's it right now let's just go and see a few things so the keyword planner will start with suppose I start um, you know in researching all these things my campaign is about data analytics course I'm making it for simply run probably and I would go and I would just try to you know search in the planning my keyword planner and then I will write a term quickly here you know whatever I want to show my ad for suppose data uh, analytics course as I said okay probably let's say digital marketing because we would have more uh, results so it's easy to understand with a lot of results because I would be able to tell you how to sort and filter them down uh, this marketing course and you can just test it with any of the keywords I'm just doing a random check so once we are here we have a lot of keywords in addition to what we have submitted so the keyword which I have provided is this and the result shows that it had over 100k uh, you know um, monthly searches and uh, of course in the range of 1 million in the in the you know in the month of 2021 to September 2022 so this is actually the average monthly searches happened in between this period and uh, the advertisers actually paid as low as 44 rupees to as high 20, uh, 224 rupees okay that can easily be uh, you know converted to dollars uh, half a dollar or maybe more than half a dollar uh, 60 70 cents probably and uh, this is like going to be a three dollars cost okay so what we can do is we can see now there are a lot of keywords been given and we can easily sort them down here on certain you know uh, basis like you know suppose the monthly searches are high or the bid is low and all that stuff but this is quite you know difficult when we have to sort down here in the keyword planner so what I do is I'm just going to talk about the same you know like hi, ha, how I actually go when I am working for my clients okay I have clients here a lot of clients I don't want to show you but yeah I have and um, suppose I just go and download this data from here and then this would be you know uh, downloaded in the Excel format and we can just save it anywhere suppose I just bring it here and then now I would open the keyword sheet and I would have a data in my Excel okay so I need this this one so this is the most important column because I have to highlight uh, which column is important and what is not required right now so whatever is required I'm just I'll be keeping with me and what I feel like is not very important as of now I'm just not going to be taking them so now there are five column which I have kept with myself like 
these four where we talk about the results and the keyword okay uh, this is not required this is not required so i'm just going to be deleting or hiding them okay so when we talk about our competition index value so this actually tells us that a particular keyword is how much uh, you know from the competition point of view is difficult to rank suppose i talk about two keywords right now let me just take um, a one with a lower score suppose this one and i would take the higher or the highest one probably is this one okay so now when i talk about a comparison you know probably uh, or or probably let's say this this one because this has a uh, monthly searches which are equivalent uh, you know from the uh, competition point of view they are way differ but the search has been same so if i would stuck to something of this sort that if i have to finalize between these two so what i would do you know that, that's something which we are talking here you know if we have a kind of a combination where we have to decide out of these two so both of uh, the keywords are meaning very important if i would just check from my naked eye a quick scan they look very promising they look very great to me suppose and they have a equivalent number of searches in the last uh, you know one year on the average monthly basis but there is a difference between the competition okay now people can be confused what is this competition so i would just make you explain in a very simpler way suppose there are 100 companies or there are 100 you know ed tech institutes or probably physical institutes who teaches uh, digital marketing because we are doing online marketing or a you know digital marketing course online so so let's keep it uh, online uh, institutes like simply learn and all okay so what they have done is in the last one year they all have used these keywords to run their ads you know to show their uh, advertisement or their digital ad on a google space okay when this data has been given so this is telling me that out of those 100 advertisers or my 100 competitors 66 or a 66 percent advertisers have used this ad okay or have used this keyword to show their ad okay and out of 100 33 percent or if it is 100 uh, then 33 advertisers have used this keyword to show their ad okay so it brings you know kind of a, a comparison to us that probably these two keywords are very much in demand you know like uh, equally from the searches point of view because both have been searched equally but whenever this has been searched then there has been a competition where 66 people or 66 advertisers or 66 percent advertisers are fighting to show their ad okay and when this keyword been searched as equally then only 33 percent or 33 people or 33 advertisers are fighting to show their ad on google space okay when i talk about 100 then that seems to be okay where my ad would look like you know where my ad would show because if i just go on a google space you know that only seven ads are shown when you know when we go on a google search engine one two three and four and then the rest three would be at the bottom if they are shown at this moment or not i'm not very sure so three would be here somewhere so total seven ads placements on the first page nobody goes beyond first we know that 97 of the worldwide audience don't don't go beyond the first pagination okay so we have to be on our first page so if i talk about from the first page seven positions point of view it would make more sense so let's imagine there are only 10 advertisers of digital marketing course so out of 10 if i take out 66 66 percent then it means almost like six to seven advertisers are fighting or have bidded or probably are trying to outrank each other to show their ad on the top or on the first four positions of google but when i talk about this then only three to four advertisers are fighting or have bidded for this keyword to show the ad on the first page so this actually is a very important data sometimes we just you know miss it because uh, it has not been uh, i think explained anywhere else that what exactly this value is we on only go by the low medium high which is the very first column i delete nowadays you know i don't you know go by this because they both come under the medium but there is a big difference you know 
seven out of ten would have been bidded for and only three to four would have been bidded for this keyword so never go by the high medium or low just go by the index value because that's a percentage of the advertiser who are actually trying to fight for the same keyword to show their ad on the top okay this is how we you know shorten or we get the best keywords we try to get the best search keyword with the you know kind of a index value between 50 to 60 less than that and then we of course you know go for the bid value or a bid uh, price which is also on a very lower side not a very high price keyword we go with so this is the criteria you know i actually follow and that's something which you know we can see i have also mentioned here you can see that much uh, you know we go for the high search keyword and then we try to get the low medium competition keywords which uh, of course uh, less than 60 index value and then i put a price you know kind of a price of my price you know which is like if the low bid price is 10 rupees then i just make it 13 by adding 30 percent to it so if the pricing is 10 so i would add 30 percent to it that makes my price 13 and then i check you know uh, if the first day if the impressions has come it means my price actually been accepted but if any of the keyword my price is not accepted then i would again revise the price by 20 30 percent and then would wait for the second day report and that's how you know i keep changing for the first two three days and keep seeing the results and once the you know every keyword gets picked up and i get the you know uh, try, starts getting the stable results then i uh, just just allow the campaign to work uh, you know on the algorithm and uh, you know i i see uh, results actually moves in the positive direction when you give some time to campaigns to read and to learn uh, you know from the audience behavior okay so this is about the keyword planning which we have just seen now moving to again a very important aspect because campaign making is something which i've already given you the you know glimpse in the last class so i would again give you today but before that i really you know wanted today to speak on all these technical aspects you know which works at the back end so that's why my focus is more on this uh, presentation parallelly i would keep showing you the uh, you know uh, the uh, google ads uh, the demo and everything okay so now when we move to the next part next part is very important from the um, ad algorithm point of view so what happens or what used to happen uh, when when the quality score you know which i'm just trying to speak now was not there uh, what used to happen the one who used to pay the highest bid price used to get the first position and the second one used to get the second position and the third bidder used to get the third position so i have just brought into this table suppose a advertiser has bid it 8 rupee b 10 c 15 and d 20 and when the quality score concept was not there so they actually been given the very direct position this one first this one second this one third and this one fourth but they have realized or google has realized that the one who is paying the most is not having a very good quality of the ad uh, his uh, landing page or the website it's is not working or probably the pages which is which are connected are not very relevant and the keywords on which the ads been shown is nowhere near uh, you know when the landing page is opened so it it was like a very negative impact on google when the reviews been checked and people or the users who were clicking on those ads were not happy so what google did google brought us you know kind of a uh, test score or a check uh, which is called quality score for every keyword we bid okay and this is only for the search ads that's why i said all the keywords we bid okay i'll just show you the result on a client site so when we submit our ad on the basis of uh, you know uh, different keyword we bid and the, and the strategy we use and the landing page we connected the back end so what the system does is system starts analyzing and starts checking everything from top till you know bottom from the start till the end and i would just talk about the factors and what impact it brings is so the quality score the score which has been given out of 10 is then uh, been given to every advertiser on the basis of the keyword suppose every uh, advertiser here is bidding on the same keyword you know let's let's, let's um, assume that they all are running the ad for the digital marketing course so what would happen they would check and on the basis of the you know factors they would give a score out of 10 suppose the a advertiser who bid it for the least had the best of the quality score because of the reasons we're just going to talk about b got 8 out of 10 4 out of 10 and 2 out of 10 so the one who have bidded the most got the very least quality score probably the reasons uh, you know would be more clear once we talk so 
how this now will going to impact the whole position system is that their google rank not google position okay there is a google rank kind of a, a kpi can be understood or a matrix which is a, a product or a multiplication of what you bid and how much quality score you were able to get so 8 into 9 being 72 10 into 8 brings 80 15 into 4 brings 60 and 20 into 2 is 40 okay so the combination of a good pricing and a good quality score got b bidder as a first position okay and the one who got the best quality score but still paying very less from the average pricing probably is you know brought the google position or ad position to second and then the one who was spring very high but the quality score was below average which is of course five six is average price average score they've got into third position and the one who was paying so high probably would not get a position you know, because this is the maths uh, from the maths point of view have got these numbers if the quality score would have been below five then the ad would not have got any position rather because google always tries to you know show the ads which are the best uh, for the users you know because google always pays very importance to the users behavior and users um, uh, you know expectations so and why, when i said that I think you would able to understand more now how the factors you know which which actually results in these quality score is um, like relevant score like by relevant score means when you type a query or a person would come here would type a query so he doesn't know that this is called a keyword we as a digital marketers know this is called a keyword for them it is a normal query because they are about to start a course where they would be taught about all these things but right now so they are not very uh, aware you know very much aware of these things so they are putting a query when they put a query they want to see the ad or uh, ad extensions or uh, ad description relevant to what they have searched and when they see all these three things here with the search uh, you know what, what they made they would definitely going to click more and google only earns when somebody clicks so it means google making revenue only when somebody is clicking so from that perspective also google always tries to pay you know uh, or rather give more score and uh, give a better position to the ads where all the components of the ads are perfect are relevant and the ones who starts getting more clicks in the very first hour or a first day okay so the important factor which after the click is the landing page so when somebody opens this so it has to be very relevant to the query and to whatever being shown outside they cannot just show anything here uh, which is not relevant to the ad which has actually been shown outside so all these uh, you know uh, factors uh, in combination gives the quality score very important factor is ctr which you must have understood when you know we uh, i i did you know uh, explain the last session the basic one but if you do not aware of it so ctr is called click through rate okay and a click through rate is a ratio of clicks to impression okay it is a ratio of clicks to impression just a spell check okay so suppose today uh, when we are saying a b c d so let's see this are, this is a, a or this is b and this is c and they've got uh, you know equivalent quality score on the basis of all what they have done okay their landing page their uh, ad their description everything is very much common so google in the starting of the day you know when the ad actually started to show for everyone uh, you know giving them a very good quality score probably of five okay and when this quality score of five been given to them then the other factor which actually adds on you know to that algorithm is the ctr so ctr is i just told you is the ratio between click to impression so now they all have a same quality score but this got 100 clicks out of the thousand impressions been given today this got 50 clicks out of the thousand impressions given today this got by any mean probably 200 clicks out of the thousand impressions given today okay every time this uh, the search is happening here digital marketing course so these three ads are very much visible equally so all got 1000 impressions 1000 impressions 1000 impressions but this got 100 clicks this got 50 clicks and this got 200 clicks in the very first hour or maybe in the next two hours okay so this ctr you know when we are talking about 100 out of 1000 to 10 percent this is 50 out of 1000 it means this is going to be 5 percent and 20 uh, sorry 200 out of 1000 means 20 percent of the ctr so google was actually benefited or made the most of the revenue when 
you know clicks have come from here because it is almost like a double or a four times of this so because of the high ctr the quality score of of course you know every every advertiser would improve but this one would be improved from probably from 5 to 7 and this would you know probably from 5 to 5.5 and this probably from 5 to 6 so because of that quality score has improved and uh, you know because of the high ctr this ad has got so this position will be changed and it, this would you know probably would get the first position the second position and at the end of a day this ad has to pay or advertiser has to pay lesser because its quality score increase we have just seen it is you know almost like the uh, you know inversely proportional the ones who are actually paying or the ones who are having the best of the quality score are paying the least or has to pay the least okay so this is all basically you know can be checked once your ad starts running so i will just open the client's account uh, where you can just see this with uh, you know with better understanding you would be able to get out of this hopefully i am able to show you from okay i'll just see because i have multiple advertisers you know but i cannot just show for all so let me just check if i can show you from any of the older one just wait it is actually asking me some verification it's taking too much time yeah it's just done now okay so once this is done I will just take you to one of the accounts where my main focus will be to just show you how the quality score report look like and then uh, you know you will get a fair idea about all the factors you have to be focusing to bring your quality score high or to take your quality score high okay so I'm just going to open the search ads because we're talking about a search ad here only and suppose if I just go into this uh, campaign which is of course you know not running right now but i just want to show you how you check the report and all suppose this is the campaign you have run for and you got 75 clicks at a you know um, average cpc price of 40 pesa and you have just given this much pricing and i have bid it for many keywords but i want to see which keyword had got the best of the quality score and how the quality score been given and all okay so once you reach to the keyword report here you know at this level then you see um, uh, you know uh, the KPIs or metrics here which gives the quality score out of 10 okay you can see here very well and every keyword being given other you know if, if there are 10 keywords I don't know how many keywords we bid it for we bid it 50 keywords okay and uh, you know you can see all the keywords here and every keyword being given the quality score out of 10 okay because their CTR which was the last part which I have explained you the ratio between the impression to clicks got the above average so they give uh, below average average and above average so above average is best actually for any of the factors so the CTR is above average the landing page is above average and their ad is above average means all are perfect then they got the 10 the moment anything goes below average or probably to the average suppose you can see this is above average for them this is above average for them but their landing page experience from this keyword point of view is only average their quality score has come to eight okay if you go further down uh, let's see anything where two of them uh, yeah so here the kids ride on is a keyword where ctr is also not as high or as great you know to uh, as compared to the other keywords which we have seen and also the landing page is not as relevant to the keyword so there uh, two factors like ctr and landing page has come to average as compared to the ad relevance which is above average so their whole quality score got impacted which actually came down from 10 to 8 and then 7 for this particular keyword and last not least if i just take you to somewhere where something is below average has come now one is above average one is okay they are getting clicks but probably the ad is still not very much relevant to the keyword okay so they are below average above average average has brought the quality score to six out of ten which certainly would have you know impacted on the cost and also to the position okay so this is something which you would see when you come here also you can check one more thing here suppose you have bidded for your keyword and your bid price where you are paying for is maximum bid price let me just see where that column is so otherwise i would just add that column so that you can learn that part as well 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Just wait. Okay, so this is basically CPC price is being given in the average cost. 2.50 is the cost for every click, and we got 249 clicks. So got 623. You can just check the maths. Uh, it's always good to cross check. So 249 clicks multiplied by the CPC price, which is 2.50 rupee, would give you 622.5, which is the cost, you know, or the keywords, um, uh, you know, we bid it for and the total clicks we have paid. Okay. And the maximum bid price, suppose, you know, you have got uh, the maximum bid price of uh, 1 rupee and you paid 17 pesa, 1.66 and all. And then what happens? You wanna secure your position suppose the very first page bid you seeing that you're getting the position but you're not getting a first page then here because this campaign is not running so i'm just giving you the hypothetical example so whatever the pricing you would have given for the particular keyword suppose we talk about these three keywords right now or particular one keyword uh, i suppose so this is something which i'm you know trying to show on a one rupee cost but to show on the first page it is saying that you have to pay 1.5 okay to show on the uh, first four positions here one two three four it is saying that probably you have to pay 2.5 and to get the absolute first position which is going to be the topmost it would tell you that you have to probably pay five rupee you know you're paying one it is asking 1.5 the first four it can be paid for 2.53 or this has to be five so you can always go and change your you know bid price for the particular keyword okay so there are ways to do it suppose if i'll just go here and i just go to the edit i can change my maximum cpc bid price for this particular bid uh, or a keyword like to five rupee okay because i'm not changing for all the keywords so i have selected that particular keyword and I have made the change to this particular keyword to five rupee. So if you know the average price was one and I was not getting the keyword uh, from this keyword, the position secured on the first page or a first absolute position, and I want because this is the most important keyword for me, then I would just come here and would check the pricing. Okay, this says five rupees you have to pay for the top position. So I will just go here, edit, and would change the bid price or a maximum CPC bid price of this particular keyword. You can do for all you know you have to just of course you know select all of course but if you would do for all then it it can really impact your whole budget okay so try to go for the keywords where you really feel like it is required and always go by the quality score it has you know it has a very good quality score so i should be paying or i should be ready in paying uh the maximum price which actually google is asking me to pay to secure my first absolute position and uh, certainly that would increase the chances of clicks and certainly if clicks are there so conversions can be expected too okay so this is all <clears throat> from what i've just taught you as of now now i would just move to the campaign making though we have done as i told you last time but i will try to make it again so that we can quickly see how the google ad search ads uh, or the search google ad created okay so if i just go to the campaign uh, my demo account so i have to just go to the google ads account the dashboard and then I would come to the campaigns. I would just click plus. New campaign. And whatever the, you know, um, objective is, you can always go for website traffic or without a guidance because this would have all the settings inside the same. More important part is what we select next. So we select search campaign because we are making the ad for the search network. You can always test for website traffic. That would not make much difference and click continue. I would talk about the conversions and remarketing in a separate uh, session altogether. So we are not doing the conversion and remarketing today. We are making a normal search ad with all the strategies we have just understood and with uh, adding the extensions to the ad as well today. Okay, website visit. And suppose my website is uh, just open simply learns uh, landing page so that I can make the ad for simply learn digital marketing as a demo ad, of course, not a main ad. 
So copying and just putting in here. I have to just put a uh, you know website domain. That's it. I don't have to bring the whole landing page here. And then I can just name it probably November search ad. And then I would just go and continue. Start new. And then I'll just select my bidding strategy, which is going to be clicks. And of course, from my Excel, I would learn that, okay, my bid price, which I'm going to be paying, uh, you know, uh, is certainly in the range of something like probably 50, 60. And I have just told you that I bring my price kind of a thing into this. Like I always bring like this and then well, let me just delete all the other columns which are not required. So this is the sheet which I did, did explain to you earlier with the index value and all. So my price, what is my price like? So I always pay 30%, 40% extra to the low bid price. So I can, you know, just get the formula here like this plus this 30%. Okay, so that is just going to make it 57. So you can just understand 44 plus 13 going to bring 57 and I can just drag it and now I've got the average suppose these are the you know keywords which I have finalized just assuming so these are the keywords which I have finalized probably because of XYZ factors searches and index value and all that and I see that my pricing is varying from 35 to 89 so maximum being 89 so what I would do keeping that in my head I would going to give the limit to my bid price that I don't want to pay anything extra or more than 90. Okay, so this is something which you can do on this particular level. And then you move ahead and you remove this because you just want to keep your ad on the Google search. And then you go down, you select your countries, you select your location. If you want to show the ad in all the locations, then you certainly can just go uh, and keep the very first option open, which is uh, all countries and territories. If you want to just show your ad um, uh, in a particular country, like, you know, right now, if I just go India, so the whole India would see your ad. And if you want to go for a manual locations, like suppose I want to select any of the states or cities, then what I would do, I would just probably take Delhi. So Delhi would be targeted like this. Okay. Or probably I just want to target the state of Texas here. So I just would go and target the whole state or if I want to target any of the provinces of Canada. So I would just go and take the uh, provinces of Ontario, Canada, and I would just target the whole province. And now if I also want to go for any of the uh, pin codes, suppose I want to target to a certain pin code, then I can just go and target the pin codes like this so it is up to us that we want to go worldwide or if you want to go for a country specific if you want to go for a state specific or if you want to go as a province or a pin code specific okay otherwise uh, if you suppose um, a restaurant or if you are a you know somebody who only delivers into certain radius then you can just leave all these options and you can go and advance search and then you can go into radius and you can just bring this uh, whatever you understand better in india we understand kilometers better maybe the person in us would understand miles better so we just go and take that two kilometer radius and probably i am the cake shop in delhi so i would just go to search my location this is my location and I was just going to target people around two kilometers because I don't deliver outside two kilometers. So it's all up to us how we wanna go. Uh, this is called radius targeting or geofencing. When we go to the location, we can also learn one thing. Suppose I wanna show the ad to the um, whole country, India. Uh, I've targeted, but at the same time, I am not delivering in um, uh, in 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 Mumbai, okay, or probably in. Uh, Karnataka, you know, Bangalore, where uh, the city is, okay, or probably I'm not delivering in any of the uh, northern states like Haryana, Himachal, Punjab. So what I would do, I would just take Punjab, suppose, for example, and I'm just going to exclude that, okay. So what would happen? Now my ad would show in all the states and all the cities of India, but just not in Punjab, okay. So I can save it. 
that's how you go about the location language is you know in which language the users probably uses the search engine and all so you can keep it all languages that's the best and audience we don't cater here much because we are doing the search ad which actually shows the ad on the basis of keywords and location only so in the display ad we're going to ta talk about this uh, one and that would be the next video i would create so we're going to learn a lot of things from the audience segment in the next display ad and then the more settings comes where you talk about the ad rotation so ad rotation is uh, already default being selected as the perform best ad uh, if uh, because the nowadays the ad actually been created uh, responsive and dynamic so when we will reach to the ad level i'll show you uh, the headline changes for every user the description sometimes changes for the user what i mean is if sachin is selecting or you know writing this keyword so probably this headline is shown to me and after one hour if i'll come again and put search the same term so the headline from the same advertiser could be different or the description could be different so that's how the dynamic ads works like okay so once you are done with this okay the start end date is important you know the basics from the previous chapter so i'm just going a bit faster in here so you would select the date and then if you want to schedule this campaign for a certain period like suppose you don't want to run on the weekends so you can just select monday to fridays and you know our timing which ever suits you suppose just like a very common time of 8 a.m to uh you know the late nights like 23 45 and you don't want to run the weekends if you want um saturday sunday to be you know 24 hours then you don't have to put any timing so that goes like 24 hours for saturday sundays and then you click next and you reach to the next level where it will just going to ask you for certain things like keywords you want to submit and the ad you want to run for and the ad copy you know you have to create okay so once you come here it uh, is the you know work you have done so you can just copy paste them and you know bring in there uh, and otherwise these all keywords are the ones which google has suggested you from you know the page which you have submitted okay so the landing page is this so i'll try to change the landing page first so that i can get more appropriate keywords and then it would going to search again or scan again for us update keyword suggestions of course we can always click on and now the keywords would be more digital marketing oriented because this landing page will be scanned by google and this would show us certain results which would of course going to be digital marketing oriented but why we don't just uh you know use them because we don't know uh what is the pricing of these keywords is what is the competition of these keywords is how much the monthly search has been so we go by our own maths we we calculate we do all this pre homework on the keyword planner sheet just like we did today and then we bring them here by deleting all what they have actually submitted or suggested us okay and once this is done then we ensure that our keyword uh uh, you know in the headlines and everything being used how the ad copy is created i'll just show uh, you some you know strategic part of it ensure that your landing page is correct and it is opening there you know otherwise your ad would not be approved secondly always give a display path display path is something which is added after the ad uh, or the landing page link suppose i'm selling online digital marketing so i would just going to write whatever i want to show okay. or probably i'll just keep it here marketing okay so that works okay so now it has come digital marketing and then the part comes where you know you have to be I'll just going to tell you the call extension once the ad is created so headlines and all so the headline is something which shows you know you know the basics so i'll be fast again under the landing page link this blue which actually uh you know brings the most of the engagement or which actually appeals the user to click it is something in blue which is you know going to be the headline so we have to be focusing very much on bringing the best of the headlines here so that we can get the best of the clicks because you know once the click increases the ctr increases ctr increases the quality score would increase quality score would increase your costing would come down and your position would rise so you have to ensure that your headlines your clicks everything is in you know in a line whatever we have learned so your headlines right now has been given these of course they are not very relevant so we're going to just bring the headlines which we feel like are more relevant to the ad we are showing okay and 
I'm just going to get the headlines as a suggestion being given. Okay. And um, we can have more ideas from here by clicking this. So they are not giving any. So we can always have from the keywords which we have submitted. So probably digital marketing course online. Try to get your best keywords here. This is okay. This is nice. This can be changed. Digital marketing course online is not taking. So this marketing online probably I'll just take because course I already submitted. And then I can take few more like social media marketing. I just seen whatever the length it would accept. I'll take otherwise I'll delete the rest. This is the one and I should ensure that I have at least 10 headlines or 12 headlines. So six been given and headline section actually, you know, been given like a half blue and then I would see headlines which are unique. So unique, you should have, a, a, you know, online availability benefits and the offers and all or call to action. So enroll, register today or free demo then we'll talk about you can see the moment i've added the headline this, the strength has changed 100 uh, plus tools for free job assistance program Okay, so I'm just adding few random things. I'm just not paying much attention, but yeah, of course, we would have seen uh, these headlines in any of the ad companies' ads. Uh, include some popular keywords. Popular keywords could be your brand name as well. So simply learn courses online. Of hopefully the spelling is fine, and um, weekend batch for professionals uh -oh. mm -hmm. just a batch for professionals and that's it you know because i already added a lot of keywords a lot of headlines probably live in so i would just not work on the headlines anymore uh and i'll see you know if description doesn't takes it high then I'll, I'll just add one more but right now the description is also not giving me the full uh tick like in the headline unique and the headlines been given so i'll just try to bring the description so simply in online to do, do, do online that's great that's great so i would just try to get something from google itself let's see what they have given so i'll just going to bring this one Okay, so that it is being taken from the landing page itself. So that would make a difference to uh, the quality score. Simple digital marketing courses focus on. So we're just going to put our courses focus on skills. See you to do to do to do, do focus on skills like SEO, PC, analytics. So to bring this one here so that it has been picked up so now you can see this has also been picked up and the last thing i would do is now going to bring some headline uh, again you know i'll just check probably uh, digital marketing certification i'm not sure if this headline i have submitted earlier or not but i'm just going to test it out okay so certification so now it has you know come down to good and uh that's the best you know right now we can do of course so you can take it further but yeah that doesn't um uh, matter if you are just stuffing it to get this one completed you have to just ensure that all the keywords or all the headlines are relevant just do not overdo 10 to 12 are okay okay once this is done your ad is created you can just click done and you can click next 
and then your budget so we just discussed about the budget when i was explaining we'll just take you back so because you know that your average cpc price would be around 80 you know whatever the pricing you have just got from here if you know the sheet when i was explaining you so the 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 bid price which you have submitted for you know when i told you is like something which is in this range uh, 80 90 whatever it is so you know that bid price would come down to 90 and you need um, at least 100 clicks today so 90 into 100 is going to be your 9000 daily budget so because you know that you know you would end up in paying maximum 90 rupees per click because that's the maximum bid price you have submitted if that comes down to 70 80 60 then of course your clicks would increase but right now though being very uh, you know hypothetic, hypothetically thinking that okay i would pay 90 rupees per click at max because that is what i submitted so to get 100 clicks i have to pay 90 into 100 it would be 9000 your you know daily budget has to be so you would come here and you would just going to change it set a custom budget and you would going to bring down 9000 rupees there okay so on that yeah average cpc whatever it would be you would get the number of clicks if your average cpc goes down from 90 to 45 then of course you are not going to get only 100 you'd rather get double amount which is going to be 200 okay when that is done then you just click next and your budget goes uh, you know your campaign goes for a review and then you can add the extensions from outside okay so they're just giving you some of the uh, you know kind of uh, suggestions so let's see uh, there is one issue in the ad let me just check that first let me just see you can always fix it because that would again you're not going to give you the option of um, publishing you know till you fix it but it is not clickable or not no uh, what is the problem i'll just go from here you know sometimes those links doesn't work so let's see what is the issue one product contains an entire okay so because just to do that the character limit part i have not given the space so that is something which is not acceptable by them i'm just going to put like skills like this and now so these all small things you know they do take uh, care of so here only because we have come down so why not uh, you know just to see the extension here itself because that would uh, going to save our efforts by going from outside so when you see the ad you see some extensions here like you know when you have created the ad right now so you have created only till this limit okay this is the elements you have put it up right now the landing page the headline the description but in this ad by emirators you can see more links like uh, apply to iams learn how industry so one is landing page and three different uh, pages or a sub pages also been shown in this same ad how they are done so they are done through the extension called site link okay so you can see here if you go down after the headline there's an option to have the site links here okay so you can just click plus here itself you know, i'm not submitting the ad because i wanted just to show you from here itself and then you can go down because in your case these would not be given because mine are already created yours or not so you would go down and you would create the new south new site link from here and you can just give a name suppose download brochure and then you can give a url of that download brochure page right now i'm using this url and i'm just going to be adding my own made page like this like this has to be the landing page which is workable for the downloading brochure of course so this would be added and then i can just go and probably add um uh, testy uh, monials and reviews okay so somebody wants to read the uh, you know uh, testimonials and reviews of when when they see the ad so you can see that on the desktop how that would look like so they would have an ad and then they would have these four links and all which you have just seen in the google when i shown you so final url of uh, reviews can be given which would directly take them to the page where the reviews been given and uh, site two could be anything you know which can just see um industry ready modules or the fee structure you know the fee structure is something which people always wants to just know 
from the uh, very first glimpse of the ad itself so i can just maybe take them to the page where fee is actually being you know talked about and the last could be uh, maybe tools provided the uh, tools and certificates you would get so that can also be one of the links which people would very much interested in you know clicking and checking okay so you would see the the ad in certain shape you would have a normal headline uh, the description which you have put it up and then four links where people can directly reach okay and then you know this had to be saved here and you can always see the preview which i've already shown you but yeah this is how that would look like so you add your ad and your four uh, extra links which actually been added okay so this is one which you can apply now and now your ad has the extensions in addition to that you might have seen somewhere that you know your ad has uh, the number as well you know, sometimes you see the number being given here up to right now it is not showing uh, any of the ads with the number but they you know uh, generally have when advertisers have nowadays the numbers in addition to the headline and everything okay so you can add that as well by just going up and you can see there is an option of calls okay okay let, let me you can add from here uh, certainly i can show you but you know you can just go down and add the number by clicking your country and you know giving your number here it will just be cross checked by some verification and all so that is done you can save it so you can see what actually i was showing you you know i would just show you um from outside also that if by any of the uh, you know um that is done that we have corrected so you don't have to be uh, you know uh, worried about so if i just click done so that should not be there if it is still there i have to check now which spacing it is actually talking about um actually i have unacceptable spacing contains comma i think i have just corrected it but it is not taking maybe i have to just uh, um delete the whole description probably that would be something which and i would save our time okay so we're not adding that description though just click done so this is actually you know kind of a bug because that is something which has been deleted rather in front of you so this is not um taking but i would just click next and probably this would now be not the error in which we would see so you go for a review so what i was saying i did show you from outside the you know the the campaign was created from the ad itself how the site site link is connected and how the uh, call been added for now the publish campaign you can see because that ad error actually been rectified so if by mistake you know you just forgotten that you have to add the call number or extension you know which we just added so what you don't have to be worried because once you back to the dashboard you know where you would see all your campaigns certainly you would see your this campaign as well you know which you had just created then you can just go inside the um ad group and then you can see there is add and assets let me just click that so there is an ad which you just created and there is an assets you know where you could see uh, the extensions and all like you know you just have added today and we just added this site link and this number so if i want to add again or if i would have forgotten then what i can do i can just go and take from here suppose if uh, that call extension was not added there you know when i just added you would come here in the assets you would click that plus button and then you would just go to the call and you would see the same kind of a preview which you have seen inside the ad when we were creating okay nothing different it is like the you know way you do it you know either you do when the ad was created or otherwise you can just go uh, let the campaign be created published and you can come from outside you can click the add and assets you can go to plus and you can create any of these uh, extensions i will talk about more in the coming you know tutorials and demos uh, and the sessions but today you know we'll wind up here i just uh, you know wanted to give you the thorough uh learning on the google search ad with the extensions and also the main 
uh, agenda for today was to make you understand how these you know terms works like and how the keywords can be researched how you can bring your own pricing to the keywords how you can save the cost and of course to understand how the quality score works like you can have a lot of videos on a youtube where you can find the quality score of google ads working though i tried to you know bring everything under this session but still if you want to go for a deep learning you can always search more and research more so thank you from my side please uh, leave your comments with your feedbacks if you have any questions you can always leave in the comments and if you are watching the very first video on our channel i request you to if you have not subscribed it please subscribe it and uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you're not uh, you know leaving any of the important notifications okay so we have a lot of content uh, just not on digital marketing on every topic you know you would name it and you would find it it's it's a great platform to learn and to you know improve your skills uh, just just be a part of this community and as i said we always try to improve and you know uh, your comments always motivates us so leave your valuable comments and i will see you in the next tutorial very soon that would be completely on uh, google ads display network and where i would talk about the audiences and uh, you know a lot of targeting methods which are differ uh, from the search ad and later i would you know talk about the advanced uh, uh, you know session of uh, remarketing and conversion and all so a lot of things are coming if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you don't miss anything thank you so much uh, this had Sachin Sagal again signing off from Simply Learn. Have a great day ahead. God bless. Take care of yourself and your families. Bye bye. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.